Good morning from Budapest, Hungary. Today is St. Stephen's Day. I'm Ashley and this is Josh. We sold everything we had to travel the world and now we want to share with you the way away. So subscribe down below, give us a like and hit that bell so you can follow more of our adventures. Let's go. There's, like, there's, there's literally thousands of people here helping us bring in like what, a 1,000 year celebration of St. Stephen. St. Stephen's Day. So today Day. is St. Stephen's Day and it's a Monday today, yep. August 20th, and Hungary celebrates their independence today. Similar to our U.S. Independence Day, this is a celebration of the founding of the country. I don't believe they declared independence from anyone in particular, unlike us, but uh, it, it's a celebration of the founding of the Hungarian state. We're headed now to a street that's full of traditional food type vendors. And because it's full of so many flavors, we thought we'd try a few things while we're here. One of the first items that we've decided is Unicum. It is a alcoholic beverage that was created to be a medicinal thing type thing, like medicine. But now they use it as an alcohol. I haven't heard any good things about it, but uh, we thought we'd give it a go. It smells super spicy, like Christmas almost. Oh, it really burns the back of your throat. Woo! It's really alcoholy, but has like a lot of spicy flavors. Definitely not my fave. <laughs> Is it good? Would you, can you recommend it? Does it have any redeeming qualities? No, not at all. What? <laughs> In my opinion, it's not delicious. I don't like it. <laughs> It's like cough syrup with a like super bitter clove taste. It's not enjoyable. The aftertaste is, is worse. <laughs> Try it. Try it for sure, but you don't, you don't need to have more than a shot between like 10 of you. Let's go try some cake. Ooh. Every year here in Hungary, there is a special cake that is prepared to celebrate the foundation of the country, like the National Guild of the Hungarian Confectioners. They take all these recipes, all these people's different cakes throughout the year and, um, from all over Hungary and choose the best one that's representative of the country for the full year. And we're gonna go try that cake right now. I'm not sure how to say the name of this cake. I'm going to guess Kamaromi Kislini. I'm sure that's not how it's said. It's supposed to be the girl of Kislini. Anyways, this cake was made by a confectionery place and what how they made it is that the bottom is a honey walnut sponge cake. They have a white chocolate mascarpone here and then hair inside here and then a um, liquor and chocolate topping right there. The bottom is amazing. I love the walnut. It's so good. Adds a little crunch to all the squish of everything else. It's a really, really light cake and not super duper sweet, but the texture is amazing.
Memorial Day festivities are done, thousands of people come to watch a giant firework display right in front of the Parliament building. It goes from like one bridge to the other. There's even drones flying in the sky with flares attached to them doing a synchronized flight pattern with like... Oh, I didn't know what those were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure there were drones with flares on them. Oh, look. Do you see this? Anyways, that is an amazing, amazing... Ashley said it was probably the best fireworks display oh, she's ever for seen. For sure, hands down, yeah. the best fireworks display I've ever seen. Nice. That was crazy. <sighs> well, that's it. That's St. Stephen's Day. Man, the Hungarians know how to have a celebration. Yeah, it was fun filled, fun to be with the Hungarians and celebrate with them. It reminds me so much of the 4th of July in yeah, the US. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if we had known a family or had friends, we would have had like a picnic and had beers and maybe even barbecued. Who yeah. knows what? Yeah, with all the fireworks and everything, it feels very similar. But I really enjoyed it, and mm -hmm. we didn't plan on being here during this, but we kind of lucked out. Yeah, so thank you, Hungary, for having uh, <laughs> a nation that we could come celebrate with you. Uh, Thanks for uh, having us, and happy yeah. St. Stephen's Day. And a shout out to one of our patrons, Val Parkin, today for helping make this video possible. It's support from people like Val that helped make this video possible. So thank you, Val, for being a patron, and I hope we encouraged you all to get out there and travel today. We'll see you in the next video. Good night. Good night.